Hey guys, how's it going? This is Michael Koenig. I'm recording from Brooklyn, New York, United States of America. This is for the Coursera Music Production course, Week 3, The Mixer. Today I'm going to be showing you how to bus, send, and return in Ableton Live. It's essential that you pay attention and also that you watch this lesson because Ableton's busing system and sending and return system is different from the traditional and also different from the lessons which London taught us in the lectures. So first we're going to create a bus track. Um, I pre-recorded um, the Arctic Monkeys knee sock song and I have um, different drum tracks here so I'm just going to highlight them all with shift, right click, and come down here and do group tracks or you could just do command G and you'll see that it creates a bus track. So this is Ableton's bus. Um, it's different in logic and different and uh, Pro Tools, but this is Ableton's. So we'll come and listen and we'll adjust the fader. And we'll come over here and we'll slap a effect on it. Put that on the group. So it's kind of cool. Um, so there you go. That's one bus. Uh, we'll go here and ungroup it. Um, or you could just do Shift Command G, and you'll you're by, back right where you started. Another way to bus is to create a totally new audio track and um, send the audio to the newly created track. We'll rename this to Full Drums, and then come down for Audio 2, send it to Full Drums, for all three tracks, and um, come over here to Monitor and click Select In so it listens to these tracks, and we'll just go ahead and do the same thing. So there you go, and um, that's it for busing. We'll go ahead and delete this, and I'll show you sending and returning next. Um, so to see your send and return, come over here, S for send, R for return. If you want to create a new return track, right click, insert return track, um, and C will pop up. I'm not sure how many tracks you can make, but I'm sure a lot. Uh, just go ahead and delete that. Now this is important. To select pre or post fader, come over here, and um, this does it for this row, and this does it for that row. So if we do pre, that's for amplitude, timbre, um, monitor mix, sends, and post is for reverb. Uh, you'll see that um, ever since I deleted that um, bus track, it automatically sends the audio to send. But um, we're going to keep that. And so, turn up the A send all the way, so it sends it to here, and then we'll take a listen. And we'll go ahead and put a reverb on this because it's a post fader send. Make sure your dry wet is up to 
So you can see um, how it affects the audio. Um, there's all kinds of tricks with reverb. I know that may not be a desired sound, but I'm just showing you how to set everything up so you can do it for later. Okay guys, this concludes my lesson. It's the second time I'm doing a screen recording. Um, it's the third take. Uh, I hope I showed everything and I hope everything is correct. If you know more about Ableton than I do, please, please feel free um, to give me any sort of corrections. Uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.